Hello, this is Tina Rabbi. Thanks for joining me in my Stampin' Studio. Here's the card we're making today. Uh, it is using the Fox Builder Punch, but we're making it into a skunk with the saying that says, well, this just stinks. So let me show you, um, first of all, how to build the skunk. So as I said, it is made with the Fox Builder Punch, and we're going to use some black cardstock, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it in here. We're going to punch out the whole thing. And then a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and again, we're going to punch out the whole thing. And then let me show you what pieces we're using. Get them here. This is the body. Here we have the tail, okay, and then the head. Okay, that's all of the black pieces. And then for the white pieces, we're going to use this, ooh, this little piece, okay. We're gonna use this little piece. It's gonna be used for the hair, and I'm gonna punch another one out for here. And then for this part of the tail, we're gonna use the same tail, but I'm going to trim it. So first of all, let me get this little piece here again. So I'm just gonna put it in there just to get the one that I need. So right here, we don't need that. We don't need these. I'm gonna get these out of the way. All right, these are the pieces that we need. And then I'll get my paper snips here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this. Just trim some of it off. Okay, doesn't have to be exact, but that pretty much does it. Just like that. Okay, so then let's go ahead and put him together. So a little bit of adhesive on the white part of the tail. We want to get this little body piece. Now you could go ahead and use a glue dot for this or um, the Tombow glue. Of course, generally, I prefer the fast fuse, but of course, because I'm trying to use it in a video, it's not cooperating. Let me grab the multi-purpose glue and we'll stick it on with that. So this is going to go here, we'll grab the other one, and this is going to go on the head, something like that, okay. And then on this piece, if you notice here, this is stamped, so the eyes and the little nose. And that comes from the Foxy Friends stamp set. There are two different, or actually three different um, faces with the eyes and the nose. The only difference is in them is how they're spread out. Like these are a little further apart than these. Just grab one, it doesn't matter for this. So I've got it right here, and what I'm gonna do with the Stampin' Right markers, I'm gonna color in the eyes in the black and the nose in the rose red. Then I'm gonna huff on it, turn this this way, and then I just want to get his nose right at that tip, or her nose, who knows, if it's a boy or a girl. Okay, so we've got that, and then I'm going to go ahead and put this on the face. There we go. Okay, and then to build this, I want a Stampin' Dimensional on the back side, lower edge of his head because I want this popped up off his body a little bit. Okay, like that. Now, if you notice on the back side, there's still some um, dimensional showing, and that's okay. And then here, we'll attach his tail. Something like that. All right, I'm gonna set this out of the way, because we've gotta get busy on the next part. 
Okay, next we're gonna make the little banners here. And I've used some rose red cardstock, and then this is the pop of pink designer series paper. And so these are just cut different widths. Again, you'll find all the measurements on my blog. And I'm gonna turn these into banners. And so I'm gonna snip down the middle and then corner to the middle and corner to the middle, like that. I'll go ahead and get that done to these others. Okay, so it's out of the way. And then when these are lined up, Okay. If you look at it on the card, there are a little bit different lengths here. So in order to achieve that, I'm just going to trim a little bit off of the ends of these others. We'll keep the rose red one pretty much like it is, and I'm just going to trim this. And the reason it doesn't make a difference what length you have it, it all depends on how far you snip in um, to begin with. That actually looks pretty good there. Okay, so we've got that, and now we just need to do the stamping on the banner. And for this, I'm using the stamp set called Here For You. And well, this just stinks. There's a lot of, of really cute sayings in this. And I'm gonna use the Memento ink in black. We'll get that inked up. And then, pop that on there. And then, if you'll notice here, we've got little footprints or paw tracks or whatever. That also comes from um, the Foxy Friends stamp set. Um, where is it? Right here. Tiny little image there. And so we're going to put a couple of these, four to be exact, on there. Okay, all my stamping is done. I'm gonna set all those elements aside and then we're gonna go ahead and do our big shot stuff here. So, I have a scrap piece of basic black, whisper white, and then I have a bigger piece of whisper white. This one is gonna get run through the embossing folder, the embossing folder called Seaside. With this, I kind of thought with all these little wavies, it reminded me, well, first of all, it could be water if it was this way, or it could be smoke or flames, but with the skunk in this, it reminded me of stinky fumes. So I just, I just thought it was kind of cute. So put that in there, close it up, bring the big shot over, with the Big Shot, when you are using a um, embossing folder, you need the Big Shot platform, an acrylic plate, your embossing folder with the paper in it, and another acrylic plate. You do not need the thin die adapter. So we'll put that on, crank this through. And voila, pretty, pretty texture. Then I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to use the dies. So we need the thin die adapter. Lay that on here, an acrylic cutting plate. You can tell mine is very well loved. And then the cardstock that we're gonna be using. And then we're using the layering framelits. And for this, I'm using the largest scallop and then I'm using, well, this one that fits in here. I guess I don't know what to tell you size-wise that it is. But if you use the largest scallop and then find one that fits inside of it, that'll do. All right, crank this baby through. Here's what we end up with then. Are these and so let me find my little skunk which is right here so remember we have some of the dimensional showing here I'm just gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on the rest of this and maybe one more dimensional here just to make sure that his head stays popped up okay that's gonna go on here and he's so cute. I think he's adorable. Okay, and then 
I'm going to go ahead. Normally, I guess I would do this first, but I've already got the skunk on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on here, making sure I don't get clo too close to the outside edges. Well, he's upside down now, but look at that. It's like magic. I can flip him right around. Okay, and then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. You know me. I like dimensionals. Peel those off. And then we're going to go ahead and get this card assembled. Okay, card base. Thick Whisper White. Folded this way. Then a piece of basic black is going to go on top. What size, you ask? Check it out on my blog, stampinstudio.com. That goes on there. Then the piece that we embossed with the seaside embossing folder is going to go on here next. And rather than put adhesive on the back side of a textured piece, I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. Otherwise, it can easily squish the textured image so you lose some of that dimension. Or sometimes it can actually tear it. Gosh, we don't want that to happen. All right, and let's pop this on here. Okay, then our banner pieces. And I'm going to start building from the bottom. So we'll get the, this just stinks. Like that. And the next one. If you haven't really looked at the Papa Pink Designer Series paper yet, check this stuff out. It is so stinking cute. Okay, and then one more with the hearts. And with the hearts, you do want to make sure you have it the right way, that you don't have them upside down. That would look silly. Oops. Okay. Okay, three rows of banners in varying heights. We've got our little skunk here, and I've already peeled off the dimensionals, and this is going to get positioned right here. There you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed your visit today, and I'd love to have you come back another time. Thanks, and happy stamping.